Not sure what this stuff is, but might be the closest we get to blue skies today at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Mike Mullen from MikeMullen.net, and it's raining. 4,500 feet up in the mountains, it's snowing. Big old mess of weather coming in from California. Might not get on the track at all today. Friday, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and these guys need some practice with these 213s. They didn't have much practice at Phoenix. You saw what happened. Not a very good race. So what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to check on the schedule and try to figure out a better system of starting the season off for the first two months. Daytona to Phoenix to Las Vegas to Bristol to California back to Martinsville. And then I think we go to Kansas and Texas. I'm not even sure where we go. I have to ask Delta or American Airlines or U.S. Airlines or somebody, Southwest. I tell you, I think this sport would be a lot better off if people had to drive everywhere instead of flying everywhere in their private planes or commercial planes. Back when we drove everywhere, we got a feel for what real America was all about. And I'm afraid that a lot of people in this sport have just lost touch with the common man. Hey, well, I guess today we could go talk to some drivers about all this. The problem is, those drivers after the Denny Hamlin fiasco Thursday here, I don't think they're going to talk to anybody about anything. They might even not say it's raining. Denny Hamlin, $25,000 fine for pointing out the obvious that the 213s need a little bit of tweaking. You couldn't pass. You couldn't pass at Daytona. You couldn't pass at Phoenix. If you watched it on TV, if you watched it on the stands, you saw it. Then he just said what everybody's been seeing. That's going to find him $25,000. I guess the truth doesn't really matter in this sport anymore. It's all about marketing and pizzazz and PR and all that sort of stuff. Well, I think that's a bunch of hogwash. I think NASCAR made a major mistake in that $25,000 fine, and so does Kyle Petty. And so do a lot of fans. We've been watching Twitter and Facebook the last few hours. They're not taking NASCAR's side in this. And I agree. NASCAR made a mistake. They shouldn't be finding drivers for speaking their mind. They should be listening. NASCAR doesn't do enough listening. There's too much talking, not enough thinking, and not enough listening. Well, that's just me, Mike Muller and MikeMuller.net at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, enjoying the rain. Maybe I go up to the mountains this afternoon and play in the snow, because I don't think there's been much going on at the racetrack except a lot of sullen faces trying to figure out $25,000 for what? And you think there's a double standard of justice? Check out what some of the other drivers have been saying about other races and didn't get fined. Maybe Denny Hamlin's just their whipping boy this week. He's not very happy. Says he's not going to pay the fine. Might have to pick up a collection. You know how NASCAR justice is. They're the justice. What's the Pecos? East of the Pecos? South of the Pecos? North of the Pecos? Whatever they say goes. Or you can pick up your car and go home. Me? I'm going to go out there and see if I can rustle up some news. Rattle a few cages, like the Big E used to say. Mike Mullen from MikeMullen.net. A rainy Friday. Las Vegas Motor Speedway.